Hi there. Hi everyone, um, this is Skyla. You're probably very like uncomfortably close to me right now and everything and my face is like shining right now so I need to probably wash it later. But anyways, um, whatchamacallit, this right here as you see is Diagram of the Brain um, and f I saw this video a while ago made by Dennison on Fire, um, and it was basically him mapping out his mind. Um, it was a really nice video. I'm not gonna do it <laughs> the way he did it, uh, mainly due to time restraints right now. Um, maybe I can make one another time. But basically that concept is I draw out the different, whatchamacallit, um, Things that are on my mind, literally, because I'm drawing it. Uh, it will make more sense by the time I finish drawing it. But yeah, basically today it's just me drawing um, the type of things that I think about and the stuff that's on my mind at this moment. Um, I don't know where this came from, but I thought it was a pretty cool thing to do. Um, other than me just talking all the time for over 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, and just a heads up, no, this will in no way be anatomically correct, mainly because it's not supposed to be. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna draw this, and after I draw it, I'll explain the things that I've drawn. So yeah, I hope you enjoy.
chart as you can see it's multicolored um, labeled and all nice and everything so this is what's on my mind as of right now um, so uh, family is right here and I put them right in the front because they're always on my mind and they're mo the most important so they're always in the front they're the first thing first things first um so i made them the biggest and i put them right there in the front um it includes my parents my friends um my cats <laughs> uh, my grandma my uncles um and so right here right under it i put cats because i love cats <laughs> um, even though my cats are included in family they're also included here because they're cats i am a huge cat lady so at least once a day i think about cats at least once a day <laughs> uh, so that's there and then right here in the center is daydreams normally i daydream about everything I daydream about like school, I daydream about cats, I daydream about like uh, the shiny, about uh, books, about things that I'm working on, about things that I've experienced in the past. I'm always daydreaming. Um, and so I put it here and I made it into a little star because most of like my dreams and aspirations um, I'm usually encouraged to keep on going through daydreams. Like I'll imagine like, huh, while I'm working on set, like, oh, I wonder what my professional sets will look like someday when I'm a famous film director and everything. I usually daydream a lot um, about like my dreams and aspirations and goals in life. So that's a huge thing right in the middle of everything. Um, but attached to that, of course, is doubt. Um, I should have made this like a little spiral because it just spirals deeper and deeper and deeper into doubt if you keep on letting yourself like have fears about the things that you do. Um, and I chose to attach this into a little crevice next to daydreams because, of course, what comes with daydreams is like nightmares, which is opposite. Um, so like, if so sometimes like even though i have all these dreams of course there's yin and yang to everything so of course there's doubt um accompanied by hope uh, i try my best so to be optimistic and daydream more but every once in a while like a little bit of doubt slips in um but i don't let it <laughs> overpower me all right so next to doubt is embarrassing memories and i put that in all red um, and I put that at the very end of my brain because that's the type of stuff that you try to like shove back there so you never think about it but every once in a while you can't sleep, you lay there awake and everything and you're like oh my god what about that thing I did when I was seven years old <laughs> and all these embarrassing memories. I don't have that much, well actually I don't remember that much because most of this stuff is transferred down here into stuff I forgot that includes anything from history uh, lessons to math equations to all of my loved ones birthdays i don't know any of their birthdays i'm sorry actually i was having this conversation it's like towards the end of july and i have a feeling that someone i care about has a birthday in like in the 20s um of july but i honestly don't remember if that's true i don't remember most people's birthdays um so it's your if it's your birthday happy birthday <laughs> yeah so that's like all the things i forget in the back of my mind um also right here like in this little tiny crevice is a fangirl virus i hope this thing goes away uh it's, it was really big before when i was like 15 but it has decreased in size a tiny bit um and basically i put this here because every once in a while this thing just blocks everything off and infiltrates the daydream sphere and i just think about shiny or got seven or every single youtuber that i subscribe to and turn into a huge fangirl um so there's that next to that um, right here in this little crevice are ideas. I get really random ideas. 
is kind of a mixture of good, bad, genius, and I don't really know weird type of stuff. Uh, so I just get random ideas all the time. Sometimes they don't make sense. Sometimes I think they're like the most genius thing that I ever came up with, but I don't know how to pull them off because it, requ it requires like some skill that I don't have or money that I don't have or to be in a location I've never been to. Um, but yeah, I'm always coming up with little ideas and it's usually like goes into daydreams. Um, but under that, and this little odd shape here, which I think the shape is perfect because my questions are very odd and so is this little shape. It, it's my question bank. I often have lots and lots and lots of questions about everything and anything. Sometimes it annoys my teachers, but I ask them questions anyway because I don't care. Um, so there's my question bank. It's filled with strange things. And then right up here at the top of the brain is memorize songs. I like to call my brain a little radio because like I could be really bored one day. Like. Um, I noticed that in detention people are there like and it's torture but when I sit there I usually just pull out songs <laughs> from my memory memorized songs bank and I will literally like replay the entire first three albums by Linkin Park in sequential order and everything so it's crazy but yeah that's my brain <laughs>